you guys ah i'm so excited to make this video welcome to my closet i've had this video on deck for a couple weeks i have not had a chance to do this i was trying to figure out where to do a haul visit outfit of the day haul video and i figured what better place after like scouring my house for spots that would be perfect what better place than my closet so i'm gonna go through a couple of things that i got very affordably this is going to be a haul i think everything i have in here so far is from someplace like either target walmart or someplace fast fashion like a forever 21 might have slipped in there maybe a macy's but i'm not positive stuff that you're you already have in your closet this might just be different ways to add like um like a new trendy fall winter 2018 top let's say the jeans you already have or whatever so let me just show you what i have and then i'm going to figure out how to do like a try on part of this but first we'll just go through everything i got and i have discount codes for you below like i not that long ago found on youtube this um like a challenge going on and it's about it's walmart hauls and it's like um looking bougie on a budget or dressing bougie on a budget and basically like don't sleep on Walmart and there was a challenge to dress at Walmart and there's some like really really cute videos and I was like we could do this and then the only place to go when I go out and visit my husband in his very remote location is um Walmart that's the only thing in the town so how do I say Walmart what did I say like Mickey Mouse is Walmart so my friend that I stay out there with when I go to visit we split the hotel room so cost is obviously cheaper for us if we're both um splitting the cost of the room why do I repeat myself so much why and why do I not have video editing software right now so I can't even edit this out when I'm talking to myself at least it's entertaining for you but we went to Walmart and we went into the clothing section because that's where we get our backup outfits and sometimes you know you're a girl you just like to look through clothes and we were both like holy crap i'm like girl you need to come over here and look at this stuff there is the cutest stuff in walmart right now like do not sleep on that time and true brand i am not kidding so and that's also i have a video doo, 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 we'll link it up there about a lesson i learned in walmart when i went to go get bikinis this summer all my bikinis this summer were the time and true brand from walmart and i've got and actually i got one or two from amazon all of them were under $20, but most of them were a dollar a piece, um, dollar for a top, dollar for the bottom, when I went and got them on sale at Walmart. Like, hello, and most compliments ever. High-waisted, little tops, very cute. Okay, so I know you guys are going to ask before we start. The jumpsuit, I don't think you can see the bottom. The jumpsuit I'm wearing is from Amazon. I will link that below, and also these really cute chandelier earrings are old but they're linked on my Poshmark store so if you guys I have the link below want to follow me on Poshmark anything I'm wearing in my videos usually I wind up getting rid of because um I don't like to repeat things in videos so and I've worn these to visit a few times and you know <laughs> that's all our lives consist of our visits well for me videos and um that's what we need to look cute for right now so once I've worn it a couple times I pass it along you guys can use it and I will shop from you guys from your stores or get new cheap things anyway lots of babbling already all right three and a half minutes and not too too bad so first thing i got lipstick is gross on my mouth right now again can't edit it out entertaining for you are these two beautiful sweaters they're both the same sweater from the time and true right time and true um me personally i got them in a size medium probably should have sized down to the small so they do and i'm like i'm 5'3 about 135 athletic build um curvy girl and what was i gonna say i usually wear like a size six like since i've gained a little weight i'm like in a size six pants so that's how you guys could that could help you gauge these are their mediums is an are an eight to ten so i could have gone smaller on the top they go all the way up to i believe double xl i'm not positive but again i will link it below um so you guys can shop again walmart was nice enough to give me two day free shipping for my members if you use the quote the the, the quote the link below okay so these tops have this cute my sister actually found this top and she just moved out into her own apartment with her boyfriend so it's like a little bit expensive she's trying to figure out how to do rent and all of that stuff um and like groceries and laundry and it's her first apartment so she's tight on money but she also just got this new job in fashion so she has to look cute so she found actually this color of this sweater and she's like bro you need it because literally i have worn this sweater to work at least once a week so it's just like it actually looks um i don't know if it's coming through on camera but it looks a lot more expensive than it feels it has this really pretty um sleeve to it 
comes down to about like a little, a little more than three quarter. Um, it's got this little knot on the bottom and they have it in this that I'd probably, she pairs a lot with black pants cause she can't wear jeans to work. And if you can't wear jeans to visit, that would look really pretty. Um, and I think this would be gorgeous. This one's hanging like laying funny on the hanger, but, um, this would be really pretty with dark jeans, I think, and riding boots or like a suede tan booty in the fall. So I will do a try on after this and show you guys what I'm thinking, but you can wear these multiple ways. This would also look really pretty with like a maroon pant or jean. Um, so many different ways you could wear this. Black would be gorgeous with this. The list is endless. Um, oh, this is my favorite, so I'm gonna save it for last. What I wore to visit last time, actually, let me do this one first. This right now is um, this really pretty bell sleeve top and it's um, got that, I don't know if you could see it on camera, it's got that um, ruched type of material. Um, and it's flowy. My friend wore this to visit. She got it in a green with like a prettier, bigger flower pattern, which I thought was gorgeous. I don't know why I just like fell in love with this print. I also got a ruffly shirt that was a little bit fancier looking in almost the same print, but the flowers were a little bit bigger that I returned because it was a medium and it was huge on me. It actually made me look like I have a belly because it was so huge. So once I get that, I will show you again, but I think I'm going to go back. I might exchange this for the green and get that other one because I don't want two similar shirts in the same pattern um, and get that. It was like, um, you know, like a khaki green, very, very pretty with maroon and yellow flowers in there. Um, and I'm not sure that I'm loving, loving, loving the bell sleeves, but I think I can get one more season out of them. This necklace did not come with this. This necklace, oh, I believe was from Layla Rowe um, a long time ago, but I was wearing it with a dress that I wore when I drove out to visit. So when I bought this out there and I brought it back, I just hung this. I like to hang these necklaces on my hanging clothes so they don't get um, knotted in my bag or anything, but it actually looks really pretty with there. And this I see with dark jeans and either, I have like an over the knee, are they out? Um, no, I put them away. I haven't taken out my full stuff yet, but I have like a really pretty over the knee suede boot that I actually got from Target that would look really pretty with dark jeans or just a riding boot or again, a booty, depending on your style, it would look really pretty with a flat, just a very, very pretty shirt you can wear to visit or to work. Um, and it's stretchy. And this ruching here, if you have, if you carry your weight in your midsection, girl, I got you. This ruching is great for the girls, no matter what size they are. It accentuates them and it hides the belly because it's, um, it's flowy, but it doesn't start too high empire or ampere as the really fancy people say too high. So you don't look like you're pregnant. It just kind of hides everything perfectly. Love this one. And if you're self-conscious of your arms, you guys, this bell at the bottom, um, is going to slenderize everything. It's great, great steal. Oh, and I should probably tell you how much everything is. This is, this was 13, whoopsie, 13.94. I got this in a size small. Um, and these, the sweaters that I just showed you were, they were $14.96. I got them in a medium, but I should exchange this probably for a small because it's huge. Okay, then what else did I get? Oh, I got this last season. I don't know if they still have it. You are, you're going to be like, Ro, you can't wear that to visit, but you can, and I'll show you how. This just like really pretty lacy, another bell sleeve. Um, it has this strap that you wear, so it kind of hangs off the shoulder. Let me back up. It hangs off the shoulder, but I wear it strapless and I put, I have a video, um, an older video when I was wearing this, but I put, I followed a blogger and she did this. I put a turtleneck under here. I make this strapless. So it almost looks like a smock and that looks gorgeous with, um, like a baggy boyfriend jean or a girlfriend jean. And she was wearing it with a pair of really different colored high top vans. Very, very cute. Um, I can't really pull off that look cause it just doesn't work that well for my body, but I will show you again afterwards how I do this. I've worn this with skinny jeans, black skinny jeans and where are the booties and these booties. So it's like, they're, they're kind of thicker on the ankle, not thicker. They're looser on the ankle. I have thick ankles, so it's really hard for me, but the thicker makes everything look long and lean. And then this is your pop of color. Really pretty. I've also done the boyfriend jean look, which was fun. Um, so like if you can't wear skinny jeans to visit, if you need to wear looser outfits, like something like that would be adorable. I will pop her picture into this video and show you what inspired me to get this. But this 
only, I believe this one is a size medium. You do have to wear something underneath this if you're going to visit because it just has attached this little bandeau over underneath. And then this all here, I don't know if you could see my hand, that is all lace, so it's see-through. So like obviously, well, at least I can't, I don't know anybody that would be able to wear that to visit. But with the shirt underneath, you're okay because once that's underneath, if you guys can see, you see the black under there, not your skin. So I will show this as well. Oh, it's so hot in here. Okay, um, whew, we shut the air off upstairs during the day, so it's like really hot, but we'll deal. Then, what did I not do? I got this at Walmart as well. This, I let my sister borrow this top and then um, to wear with a bikini that was this, uh, yeah, a bikini that was this color, like one of those very high waist and it's almost like a sports bra looking bikini. And it's, um, I don't know, it's just in right now. It almost looks like a one piece with the middle section cut out, but it's not a mono bikini. It's two separate pieces. Very cute, very flattering. And so it looked like this, but it was a bikini cover up. And after I washed it, when we got home from the bachelorette party that she borrowed it for, um, I didn't get a chance to steam it yet or iron it yet. So it looks really, really wrinkly. But this is beautiful because first of all, it's two pieces for the price of one. This was, I think like $9.99 in the junior section. The brand, oh God, what's the brand? Because I cut off that tag for that. I don't know what the brand is. I want to say, oh wait, 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 we do have a tag somewhere. Hold please. Talk amongst yourselves. No, I'm just kidding. That does not say the brand. I don't know what brand this is, but it was in like the junior section and it's this top that I wouldn't be able to wear to visit if you guys who can wear um, no sleeves to visit, then that's cool. It's got this little like built-in choker, okay? And it's a V, it's not too deep, so you're okay there if you could wear a V-neck, it depends. And it buttons these two little buttons in the back and they're not, and they're like a little... You know, I don't want to say fancy, but they're not like plastic in the same color as that. So they look a little bit better. That's really cool. Perfect colors for the fall. And then you could wear this, you know, if you like live in Florida and you want fall colors, but you can't have, you're like hot all year long. This would look great with jeans and riding boots or booties. You know, if you're in California, and you still want the fall look, but it's really hot or you can wear these together, beautiful complementary colors, and these, I love, have pockets in them. Or you could wear this with something completely separate. You could wear it with like a white bodysuit with high-waisted jeans, that's something I would wear. Um, you could wear it with just like a t-shirt tied here with this over it and jeans, or you could wear it with leggings. You know, obviously, well, I don't know if you can, but we can't wear leggings to visit, but that's like running errands or whatever. You could throw it on with flip-flops or sandals or booties or boots you could the possibilities are endless with this two pieces for the price of one it was somewhere between 10 and 12 dollars threw away the tag got it a little while ago i want to say like july or august so they had black with red they had all different ones but i don't know if you're still gonna be able to find it maybe on clearance okay next up i wore this to visit last time i was at wait oh this is walmart too sorry i wanted to go in order this i got when I was there and I plan on wearing this to visit next time I go because I'm obsessed with it. This is actually a dress, okay? This is a dress, but I do not plan to wear it as a dress, but you, it's so, I love pieces that are so versatile. You wear them so many different ways. This was around 18. Where's the tag? I might've taken the tag off. Oh no, there it is. This was $18.94. Okay, and the reason I spent almost $20 on a piece from Walmart is because, again, versatile. So if I wanted to, I could wear this. If I was going to wear this as a dress, I would wear it buttoned up with a big, chunky belt here. Maybe my Gucci, um, where is it? My Gucci dupe belt, here it is. That might be really pretty. Um, I will link this below. It is amazing, but I'm warning you, I found this through a different, a beauty vlogger, and she's like, if you want this, looks identical, like total dupe for the real Gucci, like $13 or $14. If you want this, get it because they sell out like every other day. So I might wear it with this one or get the thicker one because, you know, like really thick belts are coming back in now. Um, and I will show you everything as I wear them. So this is from Amazon. We'll link it below. This is from Walmart. You could wear it close as a dress. That's what I would do with maybe some really pretty black booties, like maybe these. These are from Fashion Nova last season. I am sure they still have them. I know Windsor had them as well in black and white. Um, or I would just wear them 
you know, if it's still early fall with these from Urbanog, love these, get so many compliments on these or a regular boot. You can, God, the possibilities are endless. Let me put my Gucci belt here. We're going to need that again in a minute. Okay. So the way I would wear this to visit, I probably wouldn't wear it as a dress. I would wear this with either black jeans and you could do, you could do like a, um, like a moto look, black jeans and a black band t-shirt under here and wear this open over it again with these boots. That would be, why do I have a fuzzy in there? I have a fuzzy again. Hold please. I have a fuzzy stuck in the stud of this shoe. These were like $20, not that much, I mean, less than 30. I know that. So I would wear, you could wear it like that. You could wear it with, um, like a spaghetti, a black spaghetti tank top with high-waisted jeans. Even if you can't wear that to visit, that would be really pretty going out. And then again, those boots, if you're into like moto boots, that would be gorgeous. <coughs> they don't really work that well for me, my physique. I could also wear this, that I would wear this with are, um, let's see if I can find them. Okay. Light high-waisted jeans. These are from Forever 21 for like 12 something. Um, these with this and you could do a black t-shirt. You could do a white t-shirt if you want to like dress it down a little bit. Also something that I would do not allowed to do for a visit, but you could totally do this for like in the fall running errands or if you were going out somewhere, clothes are dropping. I have this black, my sisters call them onesies, but I used to call them pantsuits like in the eighties. It's just leggings with an attached top. And like, how cute would this be just running out and about or like going out to dinner or whatever that is gorgeous. And again, you could wear that with like an open shoe, like, a, like a slide. That would be cute. If it's still warm, you could wear that with a booty. Like, so you could wear that even got these at Target for $8 with like a slide. So many options with this, but for visit, I would stick to high-waisted jeans and, um, just like a t-shirt and, or if you want you girls who are tall and slender or like really curvy and beautiful and confident, where is a dress? You go girls. Um, for me, because my body is like, I'm curvier on the bottom. I have boobs and then like, I don't know. I have weird, like my lats are big because of muscles shirts like this or like, um, shirt dresses kind of pull the buttons open. So I probably wouldn't be able to get into visit. And also they just don't look, they're just not flattering for me on my body. And that's okay. Not every trend works for everybody. And as long as you know that and know what works for you, I mean, as long as you're comfortable and confident girl, you rock what you want to rock. Don't let anyone tell you you're too old, you're too heavy or too thin to wear anything, but find the things that you feel the most confident in and you rock them. So I wouldn't feel confident. I don't think wearing this as a dress to visit, but I love it and I will figure out a way to do it. Okay. What I wore to visit last time I went, I was absolutely obsessed, like obsessed doesn't even describe how obsessed I was with this outfit. That doesn't even make sense. So this is from Target. It is their new, um, wild fable brand and it is freaking adorable. So I got this in a size, let's see, a size large. It was a little too big, probably should have gotten the medium. Um, but it looks really short. It is really short. So I wanted it for length because they're not going to let me in, in a belly shirt. The sleeves were a little long and these were kind of like falling off a little bit. Now it is a little bit, it's got that like square, that low cut square. And it's got this like stretchy material in the back, which makes it gorgeous and flattering on everybody with these shoulders and this little like sweetheart neckline, adorable. I don't know. I didn't actually know necessarily if they were going to let me into visit wearing it. So I paired it along with this necklace that I got from Target as well. Links to everything will be below in the description bar. Um, but I paired it with, where did that sweater go? With this long sweater. I actually got this a long time ago at JCPenney, but these are like everywhere right now. I did see them as tar like similar at Target as well. So this like hides that back. And all we have to do is um, sometimes they make you take off your cardigan and walk through and then put it back on. And then you have to leave it on during visit. 
me personally, they let me take this off and hang it up. We're not allowed to just like take it off and leave it in our chair, but I can take this off and hang it up. And they didn't have a problem with it because like I said, I got a large, not a medium. So it covered everything. And I paired it on the bottom with um, just a pair of black jeans. These, you guys, I'm absolutely freaking obsessed with. They were a little bit on the pricier side and pricier for me for jeans is like $50 or above because usually I'm like a fashion Nova jean girl. They're like in the twenties. Um, so these were a little bit of a spend and they are Calvin Klein and I got them for me personally in a size 28, 28. So they hit me thankfully like right at the ankle. They are pretty tight and they don't, they have stretch, but not like too, too much of stress stretch. And I was, I wore them to visit with, you get over there with my fake, not fake, we'll say dupe, Gucci belt, and then this, and I paired this all with these Urbanog boots I got for like 20 something dollars last year. I got so many compliments on this outfit, and I just wore like a red lip stain and um, had my nails done, and so in like red, so that was a hit. That was definitely a hit. It was like one of my faves. And this whole outfit, wear black jeans that you have. Let's say, let's take out these jeans, right? Even though it's the butt pockets that sold me on these. Great butt jeans and good like lower body ankle jeans because there's a little bit of give in the calf and the lower body. So if you're like me and you hold your weight in your legs and your lower body, these are gonna be really flattering on you. So if you feel like you want to save your money and splurge, these are definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. And I will link where I got them. I want to say like in the $50, $60 range. I don't remember exactly. I don't think they were in the $80. No, $50 range below. Okay. So what is next? I got that taken care of. I got that. Oh, got these Wild Fable brand at Target. These are just something different because I feel like I am always 100% in skinny jeans and a different kind of top in the fall, like skinny jeans, high boots, and some sort of like flowy shirt, which is an adorable outfit. And it's like fail safe for any body type, but like, come on, I need to switch it up. So I am obsessed with like that Kourtney Kardashian, um, mom jean, like high waisted mom jean, and then like a, like a bodysuit look on top. So cute. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put images in as well, but These are from Target, Wild Fable, Wild Fable brand. I bought them off the clearance rack for $8.38. Like, what? But I don't know if they're defective, and I honestly don't even care. Um, let me see. I'm sorry, you guys. I need to get the real price for you guys. Okay, $24, which I have to say is not bad for a brand new pair of jeans. Um, they are the... <laughs> they're so funny. High rise is skater jean because they're really, really wide in the leg, but, and they come up like high. So cute. Like this would be such a cute outfit. Um, they're to me, they're more of a mom jean than a skater jean. And I would wear these, I would pair them with a belt or not a belt and a bodysuit. And for visit, like something, you know, like that would be really cute. I think I would probably just wear them with all white if you're allowed to wear white, but like, um, Target actually has some really good bodysuits now. If you can't do a bodysuit because the buttons on the bottom are metal and that that's never set off the metal detector for me because there's not much metal there. But if it does for you, um, you could always just wear it with like a tighter t-shirt. I would probably pair these with, um, where are they? Where are they? These I got um, at... They are mix number six, mix number six brand. I think I got them on Amazon. Target also has pairs like this as well. I tried them on there. They just didn't have my size. So I went next door. Oh no, I didn't go next door. I went on Amazon and I got them. Um, and of course these would also look really pretty with one of those pairs of shoes. If you guys are allowed to wear open toe with just like the strap across your foot and the strap across your ankle. Very cool. And if you can only wear closed toed or flats like you could wear like a slip on sneaker like a van type of sneaker those are so cute you could wear um vans themselves like the ones that are really in right now with like the stripe if you're a converse girl you could do that you could do so much with these so fun so different and you guys are like huh what are you talking about just wait until i show you this outfit so cute 
I got these, I think I said, in a size 6. They're a little bit big in the waist, but I did try on the size 4, and um, they just fit me like a little too tight in the hips, and it wasn't the look I was going for. I'd rather have these be really loose and baggy and go for that, like, really cute. The only person I can think of off the top of my head that rocks this look all the time is Kourtney Kardashian, so I will show you those. Um, again, I will try them on. And the last thing I want to show you guys, because this is getting long, is... This shirt that I did not get from either of those places. Oh, this was the bodysuit I wanted to show you guys to wear with these jeans. Is um, You cannot wear this to visit, but this is just like a really skinny spaghetti strap bodysuit with like a ballerina back. Um, this is from Fashion Nova. I believe it's... Did I cut off the size? What size is this? I believe this one is a medium or a large. Let me see. You tell, oh shit, did I just, oh, I just got lipstick on this brand new shirt I never wore. That sucked. You can't tell, but I want to say it's a medium or large and it's, um, it works. It's good. Can't wear it to visit. Of course I wore it in a video, unless you wear it with like a cardigan. If you're allowed to do that, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, fail. That sucks. I have to go put stain remover on this right away. At least it's on the back, not the front. So this shirt I thought was adorable. I got this from rainbow. Um, and it's just like a flowy shirt with a ruffly sleeve and this cute little grow green type of bow. This might work. I'm not sure. I would have to try it on because sometimes I have like the most adorable outfits in my head. Then I put them on and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. That didn't work. That might look really cute with the skater jean. Maybe. And that um, stiletto heel, the nude patent heel. But maybe not. It might need a tight, tight, um, like a tight. That would look really pretty with a tight pair of ankle, black ankle pants. Not for me, that style just does not work, but this would look pretty, not necessarily for visit, but with like liquid high-waisted, like liquid leather legging type of pants, not even leg leggings, but I have a couple pairs from Fashion Nova of those like pleather pants. That would be cute. Um, with uh, dark jeans and high boots is how I'd wear this to visit. This was 1997 at Rainbow when it first came out in the summer and I grabbed it. I usually don't pay that much for stuff at Rainbow. Like I'll wait for their five and seven dollar racks, but I just needed this. This was so cute. My sister's like, yeah, you do. And now I got lipstick on it. So I'm going to go take that off. And then you guys, I think I, I just want to make sure I showed you everything. I'm going to go and figure out how to do try-ons for you guys so you can see everything the way that I see it in my head and get some ideas because even if you can't wear this stuff to visit these pieces are so versatile that I just showed you one two three one two three four five six seven tops that I will wear all fall and like be done and through the winter and like be pretty set for the fall um so that's it I will be back in a minute to show you the try-ons Bye guys. All right, guys, I am not exactly sure how to make this work. So I'm doing it in the mirror and the lighting in here is absolutely horrendous. I couldn't get it really to get fixed, but you guys can get the point. So this is how I would wear this. This is that sweater. I told you I could probably size down a little bit, but it's great for like a day that you're just feeling like blah and bloated. And um, I have just a pair of jeans that are cropped on the bottom, a pair of booties and this little purse. I don't even know if these are out or Okay, so, ooh, so hot in here, hair had to go up. So this one is that yellow shirt I showed you, and I have it worn two different ways. First of all, I don't think you could tell in this lighting, but these jeans are um, like, a, like a charcoal gray color, and I've just always been obsessed with these two colors together. Um, let's see, can I flip this? No, maybe if I go in the other lighting and flip this, it might be a little bit easier for you guys to see, but you could do it early fall with like this little... Um, this little slide slip on thing very very cute got that for eight dollars at target or later in the fall you could do it with these riding boots for me I all right you guys i might have figured out this lighting situation i don't know but i know this one's better than the mirrors back there even though i hate filming in this room with the dark walls but it'll have to do so this is the outfit i was telling you about that i wore to visit last time with this necklace with this really pretty shirt from target if that i mean these jeans aren't as high-waisted as other jeans I have, like my Fashion Nova ones. That would make sure that this is like absolutely tucked in. But um, 
if you have a problem with it, you could throw on a cardigan like this, a long one. So let me back up. Let's hope that you could see my whole outfit because I was starting to get frustrated and really sweaty that you couldn't see anything. Um, and I might have to fix my lighting in a second, but let's just try this outfit. So, um, I wonder if there's something I can stand on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hold on. All right, guys, really quick. You could see with this outfit. Um, I don't know if I necessarily love the over the knee boots or if my fingers are wet, or if I would do it more with like, a, not these, but like just at the knee boot. Um, yeah, I think that looks better than the over the knee. I think over the knee is like a little bit too much. But what I was saying before is like, you see how this really cinches me at the waist, and really accentuates um, the girls, which is great for, um, you know, visit so here is a look i would just change the boot or if you guys like i'm really self-conscious of my legs and this is like the worst day of the month for me possibly to be doing clothing videos because i bloat really bad in my legs certain days of the month but you guys get the picture i think this looks really pretty with this necklace even though it's like very similar coloring um this pretty sleeve very very boho look i like it